Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back as always. I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel as always. I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another transfer review. Yeah. So today I'll be taking like some. I'll be taking a look at some little fellers. That's what she said. Wait, what? No. Anyways, <laughs> I don't go right. Um, Doctor Wu. Doctor Wu got some more stuff coming out. Now normally the uh, on the last two I did the Mohawk and the Scapel. And uh, they part he partnered up with uh, Mech Studios, but uh, I don't see Mech Studios on here anymore. So I guess he's on his own. So I'll be taking a look at Monitor and Destroy. This is an Officer and Emperor. This is Sound Blaster and Galvatron. And they're teeny tiny. So nice little artwork right there. And then got him over there. And then Galvatron over here. And on the back. So this is a new kind of a legend scale. So like if you watch my... Um, like I said, uh, Mohawk and Scalpel, they're really, you know, really tiny and everything. So I want to check these out. I think it'd be pretty cool. It's a whole new legend scale. Are you ready for that? I know I am. So let's just get right to the review. That's what you came for. Yeah. Well, all right, folks. And there they are in their alt modes, and they are tiny. So they do come with two cards. Uh, both of them, like I said, destroy. It's a rough texture. Thin stock a little there. And it does have some uh, stats and everything. And same for Monitor or Sound Blaster. Nice artwork, I like that. Dr. Wu. And once again, some more stats and everything. So that's what they come with. All right. So let's take a look at these little fellas. So we'll take a look at Sound Blaster and his little cassette tape deck mode. Nice paint and everything. Nice little cassette mode. Nice little orange, kind of a oranges and purple right here. Silver paint right here. Silver paint for the play and rewind button, everything like that. Nice little uh, silver for the eject button. Now it does not open. Then you got from the side. Then the back. Cleans up pretty good. Here's a little uh, uh, shoulder cannon. He doesn't come with a gun, which I think really sucks. I should have given him a little gun, but he just comes with a shoulder blaster. And it fits in right there, so it kind of fills in that gap. You got a little gap itch right here. And underneath, you can see the hands. So not bad. I like it. it. Stands up pretty good. So there is Sound Blaster. And let's take a look at Galvatron. And I think this is probably the perfect size for the new HasLab Unicron coming out. And you can use it for the uh, Zeta or Studio Cell, whatever you want to call them. Now he does come with a little plug. You can take that out you know, for uh, you know safety reasons. But nice little little uh, gun mold. A little nice orange paint right here for the uh, barrel. You got some paint right here. Some gunmetal paint right there. Got some gunmetal right here as well, and then a little red paint right there. Now this can go back like that. And these move, so and they move outwards as well. Basically, just his arms. You can see their hands, <laughs> not hiding it that well. And then the back got a little gabbage right there. Underneath, it's going to be his his belly. But yeah, I mean you can. You know, it doesn't roll, but you know, you can glide it around or something like that. I think it's pretty cool. Nice little Galvatron. Like I said, it'd be, I think it's going to be perfect for the HasLab Unicron for that scale and everything. So there you go. Not much to him. There is the alt mode of Sound Blaster and Galvatron. Real quick, this is his other, the scalpel that I showed. You know, I did a review on him. So you can tell they're a little, really, really small. Um, I think I put up my Mohawk, so I couldn't get him out. I don't know where he's at, but there you go. That's the scale of the first ones I got of him with the new ones. Scale and Crapagonics, a AAA battery, and some crappy toilet paper. More scale. Well, all right, folks, transformation time. Yay! Let's do Sound Blaster first, okay? So they tab in. There's a little slot right there, or a tab right there, and it slots into right there. Just move those down, turn around like that. Untab the foot. Like I said, there's a right there, goes into that slot. Turn around. Do the same thing for this one. Untab that, the foot. There you go. All right, bring the arms around. You want to extend. They're a little tight. Golly. There we go. You want to extend those. <clears throat> That is tight. Anyone? Oh, yeah, that's a really tight, tight 
There. Move the head up, turn it around, and then take the little blaster or a shoulder cannon, and you can put it right on there. And there you go. That is how you transform Sound Blaster. Easy peasy. All right, moving on to Galvatron. We'll move Sound Blaster out of the way. All right, so you just want to extend these arms right here. You want to take its cannon off right here. And then you want to extend the legs out like this. Turn them around. And then you're going to take this at the sliding joint right here. And it's really tight, so be careful. You might have to push it up a little bit. Trying to get that out. There you go. You may have to, yeah, cut his head all out there. And then you just put his blaster on right there. And there you go. Easy peasy once again. That's how you transform Galvatron. So there you go. All right, let's take a look at him. Now, I had to push. I didn't have his head all the way up because it's so tight. This little sliding thing is really tight. So I finally got the head all the way out. You'll see that little white part in there. So we'll just take a look at Galvatron first. And nice little head sculpt. Nice silver paint and red eyes also paint. So that's nicely done. Uh, gum metal paint right here underneath those little shoulder things. You got some red paint right here on his chest and his uh, abdomen. So really nicely done. Uh, so, you know, the barrel is uh, painted as well orange. Moving on down, some more gun metal paint throughout the feet and the knees and all that stuff and the shins and the red paint also as well. And then that's it. So, like I said, uh, you can look go side to side. That's a really tight joint, so just be careful. Um, nothing looking up or down, anything like that, just side to side. So, so you can go all the way up to there with the arm. You can go all the way right there. He does have a... No, he does not have a bicep swivel. Okay? Now, he does have a, you know, more than 90 degrees for the elbow bend and nothing for the hands. So, you can... Kind of go like this, so the tread kind of goes in like that. Now with the other, you got the you know the cannon. It can go on either side if you want on that side or that side. You just plug it into that hole. He does have a waist swivel. Uh, these little things, the little side flaps, are white. They're painted as well, but they do not move. So he can't do the full Van Dam just all the way right there. They can kick up, kick back. He does have a little thigh swivel up top for the ball joint, and he does have a swivel at the knee as well because it's a ball joint more than 90 degrees just because of the you know transformation and nothing for the feet and he does have some waffle house going on in the back right there just because of transformation and everything so there you go got the two eyes and little face Ooh. Well, there you go that is articulation and stuff for galvatron and let's take a look at sound blaster and he's got the nice red paint around the uh shoulder cannon so they painted that that's nice didn't paint the inside with the little missiles. Once again, nice head sculpt. Once again, silver and red for the paint. Now he can look up side to side and he can give you a little attitude as well. Uh, look down, not much. Once again, the paint from you saw in the tape deck mode. So you can go all the way up to there, all the way around. Uh, does he have a bicep swivel? Uh, no bicep swivel, 90 degrees for the knee, uh, elbow bend, nothing for the hands. Now he does have a waist swivel. And these little flaps do come up a little bit. There's only a hinge or whatever. So he can do the Van Damme. Kick up, kick back. Little swivel right there. And that's about it. Now 90 degrees for the knee bend. So pretty good. He's got paint right here, silver paint. Right there. And the feet are painted gunmetal. He does have a toe tilt up, down, and he does have a little rocker. So very nice. I just wish he had a weapon. That would have been cool if he would have had a little gun or something like that. Then the back, you know, cleans up pretty good. Really good, actually. No uh, waffles or anything like that. So very nice. Looks like he's got slippers on. <laughs> so there you go. That is the articulation and sculpt work of Galvatron and uh, Sound Blaster from the uh, Dr. Wu. You can tell he's a good size over him and everything, so he's really tiny. Both of them are. 
So there they are next to the world's smallest Transformer uh, Optimus Prime. This is the New Age Bumblebee, and that is the Kingdom Optimus Prime, just to show a difference in scale. So he is really, this is the world's smallest Transformer. He is really tiny. But there you go, there is some scale reference. Look, there they are next to uh, Scalpel for a little more scale reference. And Crapagonics, a AAA battery, crappy toilet paper, and squeaks for even more scale. All right, folks, let's talk about some Dr. Wu. We got Sound Blaster and Galvatron. I like these things. They're pretty cool. They're a little nifty. I like them. I like the other ones I got, the Scalpel and uh, Mohawk. They're awesome as well. So I'm really in on the Dr. Wu stuff. They got some more stuff coming out. I think they got Beachcomber, Optimus Prime, and I think they got Soundwave as well coming. You know, easy repaint for, from Sound Blaster, which is weird. They put out Sound Blaster again before Soundwave. I don't know what that, but anyways, really like these things. They're pretty cool. The alt molds are really nice. Like I said, they're awesome. I mean, they're really tiny. You got a little boom box and you got a little gun and a little tank gun or whatever. They will go perfect. Like I said, I think they're going to go well with the HasLab Unicron or the Studio Cell one, whichever you want to do. And also the bases, you know, like uh, Trypticon, Metroplex, all them, they will go real, you know, real well with these as well. I think they scale like that and everything. So that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, the alt molds are nice. I like them. The transformation is easy, easy peasy. Shouldn't take you that long to figure them out. Um, I like uh, both. You know in bot mode as well only thing i really don't like um sound blaster i wish he came with a gun and they got some tight joints trying to pull his head out uh, for galvatron and also pulling the arms out for a uh, sound blaster when you transform them just be careful they're really tight so just be honest thing paint really good got a lot of paint on both of them i like that articulation is really good on both sound blaster a little better but you know galvatron still does have uh, some you know nice uh, articulation as well uh, so they're fun little bots i think you know they're not really i think they were like 30 dollars something like that they're not really expensive so really cool they're really small so like if you have some city bots i think these will go perfect for them everything i really like them they're fun it's just, it's really cool i like it so let's get on the floor do some floor time won't you join me be my neighbor all right all right all right so all you legends collectors out there what do y'all think about another scale because you know new age magic square iron factory they're all over the place with scale and now you got these little teeny bots and uh they're, they're out of scale with everything else with legends as well but like i said i think it's cool you can definitely use them for your city bots and Unicron. I think that's a plus. Just be careful with these aren't. Golly, they're really tight. And then trying to get the head out of there, that was really tight as well. But overall, they're really fun. Nicely sculpted. Like I said, great paint. They're fun. You got some waffles in the back, but you know, you had to for a transformation and everything. And you know, so pretty cool. I like them. What do y'all think of these new, uh, new uh, scale, these little guys? Ah, they're fine, I guess. I mean, they're tiny. I could, you know, they're like appetizers. They wouldn't be very much for me. Hey, what's up? You want to kick the baby? Yeah. <laughs> kick the baby. You too, Starscream. <laughs> Pooper scooper. All right. Awesome sawsome. Some good stuff, man. Can't wait to get their prime and their uh, beachcomber and see how they are. And see, yeah, go along with these guys. Well, all right, folks. That's my review over the Dr. Wu. Uh, Galvatron and Sound Blaster. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up with some uh, comments. Tell me what you thought of the review. And is anybody in on these little things? And I guess I'll see you on the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail Hasbro. And good night, folks. Let me see if I can get these two up there. They're so tiny. Look at them. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs>